So I actually found a letter on one of these doors. It's basically an eviction notice. It says this letter is to inform you that the city of blank taken possession of this condominium complex, including your unit. The environmental court issued a court order approving the sale of the entire complex to the city. What's up everybody? Welcome to today's video. We're on site inside an abandoned neighborhood. There's almost close to a hundred and this neighborhood just kind of vanished in like 2017. The town deemed the ground just an environmental hazard and the entire place is basically a toxic wasteland and they abandoned this entire neighborhood. There's endless streets overgrown. We're currently in the backyards, We're gonna be making our way through the community, but we're also joined by Big Banks, Urbex and Chill, you know him, and we're gonna be exploring this place together. So if you guys enjoy, leave a thumbs up, check them dudes out, let's hit it up. For only being abandoned four years, you can see how much overgrowth is here. I picked the wrong day to wear shorts. And there's so many spiders here. Let's take a look into our first home. Wow, this one looks like it caught fire. Yeah. But you can see there's still stuff left behind here. You got food left in the shelves too, just cans. Take a look. Today we have an entire ghost town to ourselves. And that's honestly the best way to explore. Just have so many buildings, endless overgrown streets, and just feel like you're the only people left. Wow, you can tell a family lived here. Fire alarm still work. Got toys left behind. So these were kids' rooms. You got 
got so many toys. Look at this. You even have just drawings on the wall from the kids that were living in here. Here we have a calendar from 2018, January. Still hanging up. It's pretty recent. Someone left their bike behind. This just feels like a post-apocalyptic movie, like every house in the neighborhood has been ransacked. All supplies that were inside were taken out, all pillaged, and like we're just exploring the aftermath. Oh wow, this one's actually really nice. Has a nice couch, wood floors, and a fireplace. Looks like the fire got a little out of control though at one point. Got a family album. You got somebody's whole life here. Just memories left in this abandoned neighborhood. Couldn't even take this with them when they left. It's weird because people still cut the lawn. The lawn is still maintained, it's cut a little bit. So they come in here every once in a while and they do, do do things with it. But everything's still in so much disrepair, it just doesn't make too much sense. And here we are at another cul-de-sac. Found this really eerie note left behind here on the wall. It says, Dear friends, we are stay here while times are rough. I will be back. Please don't steal my stuff. Not sure if somebody's just writing poetry on the wall, or well, that's the actual owner writing that. Because when this place was deemed a toxic wasteland, people had to leave their homes right away. Couldn't even bring more than a couple bags. I think specific teams came back and took what was valuable to the family. Here we are, about to be on the main road. You can see how much decay is here, how many homes.
I think somebody's here, but like way back there. What do you hear? It's like a banging noise. Yeah, I hear a little bit of that. We heard people breaking glass and loud thuds, so we're not really sure what's going on. We're trying to see if we're alone or not. Definitely came from that, that area though. Yeah, so I'm gonna come back there. Uh huh. Look at the tiny kid's chair left behind. It's definitely pretty tiny. Honestly, really peaceful here. Besides all the destruction, I mean, of course, I would love these homes that they weren't broken into and ransacked, but just hearing nature, seeing how much it is reclaiming, it's peaceful walking around here for sure. That's so nuts. Just people's homes, people's backyards. So many memories made here, whether it's for kids, adults, and those memories are pretty much all abandoned with this place. It's not like you can come back and revisit. Oh my god. The mold in that fridge is just too much. It's consuming the whole building. Jeez. For better or worse, Banks, Chris, and I, we all split up. So all of us are exploring this ghost town alone. That scared me, that's some animal in here. But yeah, really getting the feel of the ghost town. This house has a little bit inside of it. Giant TV, it's like 65 inches or something, it's huge. This one actually looks like there's a decent amount left. Oh my god, this flies and food everywhere on the floor. This place was ransacked by not only people, animals included. And they really love to collect hot sauce from Taco Bell. I guess just to look at it because there's just way too much. <laughs> Definitely didn't use it that much. I like this. Heard there's a party in here. Yeah, bro. Did <laughs> <laughs> you see the bathroom? <laughs> Is it one of the bathrooms? Oh my. Bathroom's full. 
of them, dude. Oh, wow, that's a lot of Playboy magazines. Yep. <laughs> Jeez. This video just got age restricted. <laughs> Demonetized. Yep. starting to rain a little bit while we're in here. That's gonna add to the vibe of the place. I'm not honestly mad. But there's just so many homes here. I mean, it goes on and on. We've only went inside of like seven. Let's see if this block looks any different. Oh, is this a garden here? This house had something I'd imagine Plants would hug that all the way up, maybe tomato plants or something. Would have been cool if there was still fruit left behind. That would make it really post-apocalyptic. So I actually found a letter on one of these doors. It's basically an eviction notice. It says this letter is to inform you that the city of blank has taken possession of this condominium complex, including your unit. The environmental court issued a court order on August blank, approving the sale of the entire complex to the city. Crazy to think that somebody, one time somebody came home and they saw that letter on their door. And I'm sure for a lot of people, they didn't know where to go because home is home. You know, pretty wild. There isn't a lot here, but what I am finding is really interesting. We're starting to learn a little bit more about this entire complex. Got a whole flat screen TV left that side. I know that could have went somewhere that needed it. Instead of just sitting out here. This tree is absolutely enormous. It's been a while since I've seen a tree this big. But this has probably been, this tree has probably been here since this whole property has been here. Probably before the homes. And here it sits, still surviving. I mean, look at me compared to the trunk. I would need like 10 of me just to wrap around the trunk. Fortunately, the fate of this neighborhood is demolition. We're probably gonna wipe this entire place out keep this barbed wire fence around it for no one to ever come back. I'm just glad I got to come here while the homes are still around so I could actually get a feel of what this place looks like and feels like under these circumstances. Got a house completely torched over here. Don't know if that's from after this neighborhood went abandoned or before, but it's all ashes.
All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this exploration of this abandoned neighborhood. This place was pretty cool. A lot of copy and paste as far as what homes look like, but it was cool to get inside of this neighborhood and just see the overgrowth, the stuff that was left behind. And um, abandoned neighborhoods are rare, so we're gonna take each one we could find. So like I said, hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Make sure to follow the homies Banks and Chris. Their links will be down below. They make good content also. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.